Flegre, a supervolcano near Naples in Italy, and experts are saying this thing is about to blow. Let's have a look what is happening there. I have reported about it. I gave you the background story in my other videos. So it is a supervolcano that is attracting attention amongst other things through numerous small earthquakes that are happening again and again and again and experts are fearing the worst. So we know that in Italy there is a lot of dangerous volcanoes. There's the Etna, Vesuvius, Stromboli. There are numerous volcanoes that attract attention from time to time with their activity and one of these volcanoes is considered particularly sensitive. That is Vesuvius in southern Italy. It is one of the most dangerous volcanoes on earth. So, but very close to Vesuvius is another particularly dangerous area that is classified as a supervolcano. That's called Campi Flegrei or the Flegrean Fields in English. And that is a huge area and it looks really scary if you look at an aerial picture. Then you really see how vast and how threatening that thing looks and how densely populated it is. So it is an area that extends over more than 150 square kilometers and it begins right on the outskirts of Naples, a city with millions of people. And Close to it are the Italian islands of Ischia, Procida, and Nisida. So they're also included. And in the Flegrean Fields region, there are countless thermal springs and the ground can become very hot due to volcanic activity. And there are more than 50 eruption hotspots in that area. And two thirds of the volcano's caldera the cauldron shaped structure formed by previous eruptions is underwater and around that area there is around 360,000 people that live on this supervolcano. So the Phlegrean fields and the Vesuvius have the same magma chamber that feeds them and it's at a depth of about 10 kilometers. The Campi Flegre did last erupt in 1538 and the volcano has been very turbulent over the past 70 years and according to experts tens of thousands of small earthquakes were measured during this period of time and it has lifted the coastal town of Pozzuoli by almost four meters. Get that guys, four meters, that is a lot. A whole town has lifted up four meters. Why lifted up? Because the magma chamber underneath is filling up with magma, building up pressure until it erupts. If you have seen one of my videos about Grindavik, there's a similar situation. They don't have a super volcano there, but where their geothermal power plant is in Swartzengi, there is a magma chamber and that has been filling up. And then the magma did flow into a magma tunnel underneath the town of Grindavik, was building up pressure there and was threatening to erupt. And the thing there is not over yet because that magma chamber underneath Swartzengi is now filling up at a higher speed and the land is rising at a higher speed than before that incident on November 10. And we also have the similar thing here at Campi Flegri, the land is rising faster and it is filling up. So not looking good guys. There is a new study out and there's researchers from the University College of London and the National Research Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology in Italy. The shortcut is INGV and they have examined the supervolcano in detail. And that study shows the Phlegrean fields have become weaker and more prone to cracking, making an eruption more likely. What does that mean? Same like in Iceland. If land is rising 
and then sinking a little bit because magma is flowing somewhere else. If there's earthquakes, thousands of earthquakes, the earth crust is getting damaged. It's getting more loose. It's getting weaker. And we know that magma is always looking for a path of the least resistance. So if the crust is already damaged and it's crumbling and the land is rising, pressure is building up, it might erupt at any time. How did they come to this conclusion? Let's look into it in a little bit more detail. So that research team was led by author Christopher Kilburn, and he has applied a model of volcanic fractures to the supervolcano. And that model helps interpret the patterns of earthquakes and the ground uplifts. So the research group's conclusion is, Parts of the volcano were stretched almost to the point of rupture. They were stretched. I don't know, this might be a bad example, guys, but I can't help it. I have to bring it. You've all had like somewhere in your teenage years a little pimple here and there, and you know what happens if you put pressure on that pimple. It holds the pressure for a while until it erupts. And sorry for that comparison, but... I can't, I'm thinking, is there another good comparison that I could know, right? Because um, if I use a balloon, that bursts dif differently, right? But it's like, it erupts like that. So maybe it, it helps to visualize. <laughs> so um, that's me, that's Silky. If you watch my videos, you have to expect stuff like this. I'm sorry. So yeah. Where were we? <laughs> so the parts of the volcano are becoming weaker and that means it could break even if the tensions that are pulling it apart are lower than during the last crisis 40 years ago. So 40 years ago there was more tension but the crust was not as damaged as it is now by the constant earthquakes and rattling and shaking and blowing up and lowering, right? So there is a significant risk. And Kilburn says, our new study confirms that the Campi Flegri are getting closer to eruption. But he also cautions, he says, this does not mean that an eruption is guaranteed. No, it never means that. The volcanology is unfortunately not as progressed as we would like, guys it's very hard to predict things. So the fracture could open a crack through the crust, but magma still, even there's a fissure opening like we had in Grindavik, still we, the magma needs to be pushed in the right place for an eruption to occur. So there is still hope, but it is a threat, let's say that. So they are saying, the supervolcano in Italy behaves as they, pr they, they predicted. So they applied their model to the Campi Flegri for the first time in 2017. And they found that Campi Flegri has since behaved as predicted. There have been an increasing number of small earthquakes. This April alone, there were more than 600 small quakes that were recorded just in one month. And as many as never before in a month. And since then, this trend has continued. So the people that live there have been continuously rattled and shaken by earthquakes. And it's not comfortable. It's, it's very loud. And research has shown that people's blood pressure is rising significantly during these events. And it takes hours to bring it back down. So... In addition to the rattling, the ground beneath the city was raised by about four centimeters per year. Why is it raising? This activity is related to the movement of fluids about three kilometers below the surface. So the last turbulent phase of the supervolcano was probably caused by magmatic gas that has penetrated into the existing cracks in the rock and filled the 
three kilometer thick crust of Campi Flegrei like a sponge. So earthquakes occur when faults shift due to stretching of the crust. It's like pushing or pushing away from each other. The pattern of the 2020 earthquake suggests that the rock is not responding with elasticity. And that's the bad part. So it is breaking rather than bending. So it's getting weak. He says we can't see what's happening underground. So instead, we have to decipher the clues that the volcano gives us meaning the earthquakes and the uplift. We can't yet say what will happen with certainty, guys, but they really, really stress it is important that we are prepared for all developments. So what they want to do in a next step, they want to apply their volcanic model to other volcanoes that have reawakened after a long period of dormancy. So maybe they can do this in Iceland for Grindavik because that has been dormant for 800 years and now has woken up and could remain active for 300 years, which is a huge problem for the area there. So their aim is to find more reliable criteria as to whether a volcanic eruption is likely. So they want to improve their warning system. So currently eruptions are, are predicted using statistical data for each individual volcano rather than applying basic principles to multiple volcanoes. So they say this study is the first of its kind to predict eruptions at an active volcano. It is an important step towards our goal of improving the prediction of eruptions worldwide. Yeah, because that really, really needs improvement. Um, I have said it in my last video about the situation in the Icelandic town of Grindavik. Authorities have said they can only give them two hours warning at best to evacuate the town. And that's not much. And now think about Campi Flegre in the town of Pozzuoli. There's around 500,000 people and there's only one major highway. And in, in um, Naples, there's about 3 million people. So imagine this thing blows what a panic and um i've said it in a previous video the people in Pozzuoli taking anxiety medication is on the rise there because some of them they're more scared of a potential evacuation than of the actual eruption because they they know is it's going to be chaos and uh so they have been evacuated in the past and it took three years until they could return to their homes so some people when there's earthquakes happening that are happening right there all the time they don't even tell the authorities that there's damage in their homes because they don't want to be evacuated they they can't simply can't afford it a lot of families are saying well we would leave if we could but we can't so i have to I have to point out these parallels between the situation in Grindavik in Iceland and um, here in Italy. Not the threat level that this super volcano gives the people around it. G Grindavik, there might be a lava flow and an eruption, but <laughs> harmless compared to Campi Flegre. But the evacuation situation, the, the uncertainty, will something happen? When will it happen? What will happen? How big is it going to be? Can we return to our homes or will we lose our homes forever? A lot of people can't simply afford to buy a new home. So check out my other videos. I have explained a lot about that, about the financial situation in Grindavik and um, it is similar in Italy. So if you like stuff like this, guys, it would be awesome if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and please support this video with a like. That would be awesome. And check out one of the two videos here in the end screen. Maybe I see you there. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.